Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you all the planners and journals that I'm going to use in 2024. So this is like my planning 2024 lineup. And um, I want to start out with the Hobonichi, Hobonichi Weeks. This was the first year that I have used this planner and I think I would never need another planner ever again. I, I'm just, I fell in love with the Hobonichi type of planner. It has everything that I need. So this one is the Mega and I still have a lot of space over to write. Um, so yeah, I didn't use all the space up, but that's fine. Maybe I will uh, do some journaling in the last month of this year. And I just, I really loved using this planner. So here's my end of the year TBR that I'm still like working on. Also, there are a lot of private things in here, so I cannot show you everything. But here I have also like my uh, planning for YouTube, which is uh, not complete anymore, but it's fine. I have some doodling. Then I have my monthly pages. We're now in, uh, in on the end of October and I still have to do a lot of the things. Um, but yeah, this was like the perfect planner for me. There's a lot of writing space and I have been using it every day. So I bought two new Hobonichis. Again, the Hobonichi Mega. This is for 2024 and yeah, I think it's the same. It's a little bit of a different color. Uh, this one is more light blue and this is more like navy blue, but for the rest it's the same. It has a lot of writing space and I um, don't think they changed a lot of things up. Uh, let me see at the end. They did change some things at the end, like the information pages. So we still have the 24 seasonal like information and uh, the changes of the seasons. I really liked this page. I translated some uh, like all of the change of the seasons and just try to look things up. Uh, this is new. Oh, I think it's what you can eat with every season. Uh, that's nice. So we have the spring. In spring there is like ice cream, I think. Oh no, so this is frozen yogurt. Uh, <laughs> strawberry frozen yogurt. And this is something with tea. Babaroa. Babaroa. I have no idea what it is, but it's like it looks delicious. Uh, then we have uh, Mitarashi Dango, which is really nice. Uh, I really loved this flavor of dango and in the winter so this is like um autumn and this is winter and in the winter there is something with chocolate i think chocolate uh i have no idea what this is <laughs> they have this like seasonal recipes um so that's nice this is also new ima no watashi ni interview interview so this is an interview with yourself like your personal interview Okay, that's nice. And they have the list of my 100 favorite things. I did use this list in um, this year's Habonichi, but I didn't come really far. So I have now 17 things. Mostly of these are books, um, but I also have some TV shows that I enjoyed and some movies. Um, and this is a song, but this one was from 2022. So I put it in like here. So it's not from 2023. So yeah, I'm going to use it the same way this year. And then there's this like uh, measurement page. I never use this one. My idea is to use this planner for university work and just private life. Yeah, maybe I will again have too much writing space, but it's not a problem. So this is, will be like my personal planner for everything. And I also bought the normal version, so not the mega one. And I wanted to use this one for language learning. Because this year I put all of my goals in here and I wrote down my progress in Notion or in this journal and then sometimes in here. So it was like all over the place. And I want for 2024 to have one planner only for language learning. So, and this is what I'm going to use. A Hobonichi, like the normal uh, without the extra pages. And uh, this design, I really liked it. It's by Hiroko Kubota. She's an illustrator in Japan. And uh, this is her design. And I really liked it. So this one is going to be for language learning. Probably also for uh, reading goals. I'm going to plan my monthly language learning here. Or like write down every day what I did for language learning. And here I can uh, write some more specific things. And on the end I have... 
also more than enough space, I think, for writing down notes and uh, goals. This is going to be my system for this year for like the normal planning, but also the language learning planning. And I will start using this too in December because that's when this planner starts. So I have until December to use up these pages or I can uh, use it as a, like a personal diary, daily diary in December if I still have pages left. I will keep using this uh, language learning journal because yeah, it's still not filled up, but I'm going to use it um, only for like maybe uh, some lessons or some information about languages or like the polyglot conference like I did this year. I did all of my notes in here. So I think I'm going to use it this way, but the actual like daily language learning that I'm doing and just writing down which apps I used, I'm going to do that in the Hobonichi. And um, I still have to fill out some things for October. However, my language learning in October is not going too great. I don't have a lot of time because of my university courses and I'm now more focusing on reading. Hopefully in November, maybe I will pick up some of like my Japanese learning. And so far I've used this notebook to track which apps I'm using and um, what I'm reading. So this will all migrate to the Hobonichi, but um, yeah, I will just still keep using it as a journal. Then I have also the five year Hobonichi and this is just like um, for personal information, like daily uh, highlights and uh, family photos, things like that. I, I love using this journal. This is for five years from 2023 until 2027. So uh, yeah, a lot of memories in here. I'm not going to show it. Um, I did order um, a clear cover, but I ordered it the wrong size. As you can see, it's uh, too big. So I need to order another one. But uh, yeah, I will keep using it in 2024, of course, too. Then I also have my book journal. And I think I'm, I'm obviously I'm going to keep on using this one, but I'm also going to write down on a daily basis what I'm reading in the Hobonichi um, in this one. So not only language learning, but also my reading goals and uh, my like reading, uh, daily reading tracker will be in here. And this is for all the finished books. So um, yeah, here I would just write down all the books that I have finished or that I'm currently reading. And I will keep doing this until this uh, journal is full. However, I don't really like the paper of this journal. It's very like carbon-like. <laughs> um, so um, I think next time I will pick another journal. These journals do really have beautiful covers. Uh, this is from uh, Notebook Therapy. But uh, their paper, it's it's fine, I think, for some things, like for maybe more art related things uh, like drawing or maybe even doing something with paint or with ink. But um, I like to write on more softer paper. But for now, I will just keep on using it and uh, fill in the pages with more books. So this one will also migrate to 2024. We have already a lot of journals. Then I have one of my oldest journals uh, that I'm still using. This is for YouTube and here I will do some of my planning for YouTube. Not everything and I don't plan much. Maybe I will also use it, sometimes I do that for like blogging. Because if you know, I have my own blog and I also since like this week started writing blogs on Medium. So you can check that out if you want. Um, I write mostly about books and language learning. And I use this journal to write down some of my ideas. Uh, like you see, I planned this video. Uh, it's not really planning. It's more like all the books that I want to show and um, like the title of the video, I write down it in here but I don't really plan my videos. Maybe you noticed it. <laughs> Maybe it would be better if I planned it, but yeah, I'm just not into uh, planning everything that I'm going to say. I mostly use bullet points or just like reviews that I've already wrote about the book. But I also use Notion for writing my blog articles and sometimes even to write down uh, some ideas or notes. Sometimes when I like, I feel like I want to write things out or make a mind map, then I'm using this uh, journal. And then I have two more recent journals, um, which are these ones. And these are my commonplace journals, uh, commonplace books. Now, um, I know it's quite popular on YouTube now to talk about commonplace books and uh, a lot of people have them now. And uh, at first I was like, 
Well, do I really need it? Because I already have a lot of journals, but yeah, of course I needed it. So now I have two. This one is for taking with me and it's for all of my random notes and just random information. I can write everything that I want in here. And this is mostly for philosophy, reading, and like just reading notes and literature and also like information about writing and languages. It's like more specific. While this one, uh, I call it the Free Spirit Commonplace book. Uh, this one is more uh, for all my notes and I take it with me to the university or just um, to uh, my work. And every time I'm like watching a video or looking something up and I want to write it down, I will use this journal. And a common place book is a book or no book that you use to gather information. So that's what I'm doing. So for example, um, <laughs> these were sci-fi books with philosophical themes that I wanted to read. And it's a video by Jared Henderson. Check his channel out if you like philosophy. He is a philosopher and he makes a lot of videos about uh, books and philosophy texts and just like uh, book recommendations. I really like his channel. So I wrote down some of the books that I would like to read in the future. Um, here I wrote down like some Hobonichi information that I translated from Japanese and it's about those 24 divisions of the solar year, what I showed you. Um, it's about like every season has its own day uh, when you have that solar term, they call it the solar term. And I just enjoy translating this kanji and writing it down. I learned a lot of new kanjis and also just new information. So just a lot of information in here that I can take with me and write down whenever I, I need. And this one, like I said, is more for reading. So both of these journals will still be used in 2024. I have here some like reading information on books that I've read or want to read or just also YouTube videos about literature. These are all the notebooks that I have. Well, not all that I have, but all that I'm actively using. And I do think it's a lot of notebooks, but um, if I would have to choose like what's my most important notebooks for now, uh, not counting 2024, <laughs> it's um, obviously this one. So this one contains everything from personal details, of work things and uh, university schedules for my courses, but also just things that I read and like, everything is in here. And then I have this one, which is just for all the notes that I want to make. Uh, and that one is also like, yeah, very important to me. And then of course this one, because it's like keeping track of the things that I do on a daily basis. And I have like this moments that I don't do a lot of writing, but then uh, when something like special happens or when I have like a very nice picture of my daughter of, or something else, like a birthday, then I will put it in here and just uh, do some journaling. And so, yeah, this one is also very important to me. So, yeah, if I have to like choose which ones I really am using like almost on a daily basis, then it's going to be this. And in 2024, it's going to be like this. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you have like a planner or a journal or if you use any like paper-based planners at all. Maybe you're just writing everything down in your Google Planner or uh, Google Calendar and just like track everything with your mobile and uh, do your journaling maybe on your computer or your mobile. It's whatever it works for you. I think the most important part is just to keep journaling and writing down your ideas and your uh, feelings. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.